everyone, welcome to the next episode of Mubarak Talks Daily. And today's guest is Hikmatova Jasmina, the owner of 5.5 band from Niles. And hello, welcome to the podcast. How are you feeling? Uh, hello, my name is Jasmina and I studied in Educational Center, which is called Mubarak Isles. Okay, so nice to meet you, Jasmina. For the first, can we talk about your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Um, if I tell the truth, I have tons of hobbies, such as uh, reading books, listening podcasts, and writing my daily routine. So I am obsessed with watching movies, sitcoms as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, the next question is, we are really curious about that. When did you learn English and how you do it? How you could learn English? Mm. Well, uh, last year I began to learn English. Uh, my parents decided to. Uh, uh, my parents want to, want said I have to study uh, in this educational center and. Uh, else was uh, my parents' choice, and then at the time I was 10th grade, and uh, in the spring, uh, I and my mom came to this educational center, and first time when I saw my teacher uh, and my groupmates, I was so shocked because everyone was new for me, and um, I'm a sociable person, and I try to be uh, friendly with them, and I guess I can do that. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, can you share with us about your favorite book that you have read? Um, if I be honest, my favorite book is uh, Princess Diary, you know. Uh, this book is about a uh, princess, Mia Seropolis, and um, in the summer I read, I read this book and at the time I felt uh, so, so um, amazing, wonderful. I cannot explain by wor- with words because um, this book is... Um, this book is wonderful and full with emotional uh, stories and uh, events. So, uh, in this book, uh, I wrote, I wrote um, uh, Mia and her, about her grandmother and uh, you know uh, a book Jane Eyre. <laughs> Uh, this is the uh, the most important book, uh, important um, important book book for Mia and her friends. And according to this book, uh, women are uh, important than more important than men and men and. But after this, Mia's best friend lose her boyfriend. It's very, it was very interesting for me. Okay, uh, so can you uh, kind of uh, describe a literal situation from the book? Yeah, the literal situation that that got into your mind. Mm. You know. Um, Mia uh, heard about um, about princess. I mean, uh, she was princess, and Mia didn't know about that. And when she heard about that first time, she was so shocked. And it's time my heart was broken because uh, ordinary girl become a princess. It's uh, impossible. I saw it before this book, but then I wrote all of four uh, four books. Then I answered understand that uh, in our life nothing is impossible so uh, medics uh, surrounded us uh, and surrounded us after that book I thought sometimes I'm a princess <laughs> but I cannot find my uh, uh, pr- uh, prince or queen <laughs> so um, this book is uh, gives me tons of motivation to study and I and this book leads me to Berlin medics and uh, I mean r- uh, medics in our real life 
Okay, thank you. And <clears throat> the next question is going to be about the sitcoms. Uh, what is your favorite sitcom you love to watch? Uh, if I tell the truth, my favorite sitcom is Friends. Uh, I love what this sitcom because um, about three months ago I was I was obsessed with this sitcom because it's very interesting, funny, and wonderful for me. Uh, I love Joy because he's very interesting. It's my favorite horror uh, horror hero. Hero, yeah, hero uh, because. <laughs> Hero, um, Joy is handsome and uh, he has a good sense of humor and he's a person who thinks about only food. Now, Joy has one sentence, Joy never share food. <laughs> Uh, when I saw this uh, this episodes, I was uh, laughed and I felt um, uh, when I saw this uh, sitcom, I live with them. I mean, I will live, uh, I will live with six um, actors and actors, and uh, at the time, it helps me to improve my speaking skills and it helps me to my uh, listening skills. So. Uh, uh, I was happy about when I watched this movie I can understand every word and I can translate them into my native language so native language so um, at the time I felt like a top of the world because uh, I have uh, my favorite movie and I always uh, I didn't do any housework or I didn't do any reading pieces or something like that always I lied on my bed and I took my phone and I watched this sitcom uh, when I finished it 10 season at the last episode I was crying because these friends oh, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, stop myself to cry because uh, I was obsessed, obsessed with them and I I live with them uh, about um, if I tell the truth in the one day I was sometimes one uh, one full uh, yeah, one uh, one full uh, one full episode or sometimes um, in a day, I watch uh, 28 episodes. In a day, I watch 28 episodes, and it's amazing for me because I never get bored from this sitcom. So, uh, when it comes to Joy's appearance, her her dark, uh, his dark hair and uh, brown eyes, brown eyes. So. Um, uh, his uh, airbrow, airbrows and a wonderful smile and one uh, one sentence I never forget how you do it and it's very uh, amazing so yeah so uh, Joey is your favorite male actor what about the female what about the actress who is your favorite mm -hmm. My favorite female actress is Rachel <laughs> because um, when I saw first time Rachel in a uh, white dress, I thought she she is a. I thought she's not a good girl in this film, but then, uh, but then uh, during whole episode, I saw who she is and. And her appearance, her beautiful smile, and blonde hair, uh, blue eye, her blue eyes, and um, wonderful. And about uh, you know, Joy, uh, uh, Rachel, and first Joy fell in love with Rachel, but uh, Rachel cannot answer uh, her uh, his love because. Um, because um, Joy, Joy, Joy's best friend Rose fell in love with Rachel uh, when he was at uh, high school, and Rachel was the most beautiful girl in the school, and 
Rachel always Rachel a positive actress and always uh, I saw sometimes Rose and Rachel broke up at the time uh, I felt so down because uh, Rose and Rachel is the most beautiful couple I ever seen in the film and um, and uh, you know uh, Monica and she's the best one because uh, uh, her brother Rose fell in love Rachel but Rachel is Monica's best friend it's it's like a chain uh, because Monica was used to be fat but then she's so thin and beautiful uh, her um, her uh, black hair and beautiful smile I love all of the uh, actresses and actors because uh, they they impressed me and that's it Okay, it seems like the French sitcom had really unforgettable impression in you and we're really happy. So do you have any recommendations for the students of Mubarak IELTS? Uh, yes. Mm. If I tell the truth, uh, my speaking is was horrible for me because it was Zoom and uh, always I afraid from Zoom because uh, I thought uh, internet connection is not good in the Tashkent or something like that. But uh, it works really good but I have problems because camera was on top of the computer and uh, I, learned, I learned that uh, I can uh, speak uh, speak with person uh, when I make a contact with her or his uh, and it was difficult to make an eye contact with screen <laughs> and sometimes it gives me some problems I uh, when I cannot make eye contact I use uh, uh, and uh, uh, and I thought it's my problem and then uh, sometimes um, if I tell the truth, uh, examiner was uh, friendly, so friendly with me, and um, it motivated to me speak uh, quickly and uh, quickly, so clearly, and yeah. But uh, I was so down because when I went to the listening exam, uh, uh, headphones were uncomfortable for me, and. And only one thing helps me to improve my uh, listening skills. It was only podcast, BBC podcast, and films. Uh, BBC podcasts are so interesting for me, uh, uh, especially uh, six minute English. It helps me to improve my uh, English sk English skills and listening skills. Uh, I always interested in listening stories, and it's the be the most comfortable version. Uh, in a six minute I can uh, hear the story and I, I can improve my uh, listening skills so um, reading um, had a truth reading was a little bit difficult for me because my reading skills is not good I know about that um, but um, I think reading uh, reading messages and newspapers and a lot of books helps to us improve our reading skills so writing is only this one word you helped me to improve my writing skills and um, yeah that's it and only I have one rec recommendation um, listen podcast and reading books uh, helps us to improve our English skills not only listening and reading because reading uh, connected with writing and listening connected with speaking so uh, therefore we have to uh, improve our reading and listening skills okay so this is the end of our podcast thank you for being with us thank you for your patience and for your attention and uh, i want to know i feel so sorry about my mistakes but thank you for for this uh, for this wonderful conversation and thank you okay.